Hey everybody, this is Chris Nelson at Go Engineer, and in today's video we will be learning how to use the Linear Sketch Pattern Tool. As the name suggests, this is for use inside of a sketch, and I currently have an undefined polygon and a circle inside of it, so we will use these for the Linear Sketch Pattern. First, we want to select the circle, the inner circle, and click Linear Sketch Pattern. Um, by default, when you select Linear Pattern, in the Entities to Pattern box, the selections you already have will be added to this box. So right now we have the circle selected. Um, we have two instances in the X direction traveling 10 millimeters. And by default, um, positive in SOLIDWORKS is to the right, just with graphs and stuff. And we can see that the origin of the circle has been shifted 10 millimeters to the right a single time. And if we click the check mark, we will have a sketch right where those circles were. So if we go back and try that again, go and we're back to this point, you can see the preview right here. Um, the first thing we can do is change the direction on the x-axis. We can have it going to the right or going to the left. Next, we can change the dimensions. So let's change this to 40 millimeters. And Next, we can click this box that is dimension X spacing. And what this will do is it will add a dimension at the end of the pattern that is that works just like other smart dimensions where we can change it afterwards and it will change the spacing for every part of the pattern. So this is useful if you want to modify your linear sketch pattern after you've finished it. So I'll keep that checked. And how about we add five instances? Now we cannot see this, but if we come down to this box right here, Entities to Pattern, or anything that doesn't need a number value entered. If we click it and click in the graphics area again, press your F key and your window will fit to the new selection. Again, we have this display instance count box and this will work a lot like the Dimension X spacing box. It will have a place for you to change the number of instances once we have finished the linear pattern. And lastly, we can designate the angle we would like this to be at. We could do 0 degrees, which is the same as 360, or we could do 45 degrees. You can just see it shifts traveling in a counterclockwise direction. So let's keep that at 0. And what we can do after that is have a second direction. And again, by default, that will be the y-axis, so up and down. And currently, these options are both grayed out because we only have a single instance which is the instance we already have selected. But let's add five, and you can see the preview window will update again, update accordingly. We now have the pattern going to the right and going up, and the pattern continues for each direction. So instead of having five up and five to the right, we now have 25 distinct instances of this pattern. Um, we can change this value again. Let's change it to 40 to keep it a nice square shape. Instances already 5, dimension Y spacing. We can change the angle again. And we can also dimension the angle between the axes. So I'll click that, come down to Entities to Pattern. And if we click the interior of this polygon, it will copy the entire polygon. And I'll copy the center line just for good measure. And the very last option we have is in this instances to skip box. Now, if I pull down instances to skip, click the box, we can choose the patterns we don't want to keep. So I'll deselect this one and that one just for fun. And again, we can click in the graphics area, press F, and we can see the entire screen. So let's get rid of five in this pattern right here. At this point, we have finished with the pattern. So click the green check mark to finish. And you can see we have a few smart dimensions in the bottom left. This one right here changes the y direction or the distance in the y direction. So we could add 20 millimeters and it would move them all like that. So let's move that back to 40. I think 40 was a good spacing. We can do the same in the x direction. So let's change this one to 50. We can change the instances in this direction. So we could do six adds another row. If we select this one right here, we can change this one to 6, 2. 
And then the very last one is the dimension between the axes. So double click it and let's make this 135. You double shift like that. The linear sketch pattern tool is a fairly simple tool, but if you use it right, it can really help save a lot of time. I hope you found this SolidWorks tutorial useful. If you would like to continue improving your skills in SolidWorks, enroll in one of our online courses at Go Engineer.